Hi, I'm Sophie Ainsworth and you're watching the home of the British Sailing Team TV channel. We're currently at the halfway point with five races to go. Yesterday we saw long delays with a two hour per moment whilst we waited for the sea breeze to come in. Eventually we saw a breeze of six knots. In the 2.4, Helen and Lucas had the best day you could possibly have with two firsts. She's currently leading overall with a nine point advantage over her nearest rival Kroger, the German sailor. I caught up with Helena yesterday. Make sure you check it out on our YouTube channel. In the scud, Alexandra Rickham and Nikki Birrell had a solid day yesterday with a first in the first race and a third in the second race. They're currently second overall but one point behind first. The British sonar team, John Robertson, Hannah Stodel and Stephen Thomas are currently seventh overall but four points out of the medal zone. They're still in contention. They got a fourth in the first race, but had a slightly disappointing second race with a 13th. The weather today, we've got a north to northwesterly veering to the northwest of five to eight knots, 15 to 19 degrees Celsius. It should be overcast all day with potential for rain this afternoon. I caught up with the team meteorologist, Libby Greenhouse yesterday, which is also on the YouTube channel. Today, I'm joined by Olympic silver medalist Saskia Clark. Hey, so. <laughs> so you've come down to watch the Paralympics. What are you looking forward to watching? Um, actually, just really looking forward to seeing them. Obviously, they support us all through our campaign, um, so I can't get uh, no wait to sort of shout them on. Uh, I know how hard they've worked. We sort of train alongside them in the gym and everything. Um, and, you know, this is kind of their week and their moment. So looking forward to seeing them. And from an Olympic sailor's perspective, what's it like to have the Paralympics as part of the team? Um, I mean, we're totally integrated as teams, so it, it doesn't really, they're not really the Paralympic, they're part of our team. Um, we sort of share gym trainers, share coaches, and we're all in the same debriefs and sort of seminars that we have. Um, so there's not really any distinction between our Olympic and Paralympic team, we're all one team. And uh, how did the Olympic public support help you and how do you think it's going to help the Paralympic sailors? Um, I think all of us in the Olympics were pretty blown away by uh, the support we had um, up on the Nose and, and just like, on our sort of Facebook pages and everything, everyone was uh, really into it, really behind it and since you know, the last three weeks I've sort of really seen that as well and, and everyone is so excited about the Paralympics. You know, everyone I've seen that was pretty depressed when the Olympics finished. Where, you know, they've been kept going by the fact they've got another two weeks of great sport and um, the Paralympics. So, you know, they'll um, they'll be aware of it and uh, they'll really appreciate it. But they need to, you know, they'll they'll be keeping calm and keeping their heads down, kind of not getting that involved in it. But know it's there and it'll, you know, help them through the tougher times. So we've spoken to the Paralympic sailors and they're so motivated by the Olympic success. Do you get motivated and draw inspiration from the Paralympic sailors? Um, you know, what the, those guys do is awesome and, um, you, know, I, you know, they're friends and I used to race against Helena in 470 and so I know how good she is and um, I had an awesome day yesterday so I'm really pleased for her. Um, I watched, last night was the first time I actually watched some of the Paralympics on TV so I watched some of the swimming and I just, you know, it's pretty unbelievable that um, like Ellie Simmons just by mechanically could be that fast <laughs> at swimming. Uh, it's just absolutely blows you away as a you know an athlete that these people you know sort of matching times and everything of able-bodied athletes and it's impressive. Have you ever done any of the Paralympic sailing? Have you tried any of their boats out before? I don't think I have, no. <laughs> <laughs> too scared um, they're gonna be a right cuffing. <laughs> what have you been up to since the games? Uh, we've had a great time. I've just got back from Cardiff and the Extreme 40 regatta there, which was really good fun, amazing boats. Um, I've been at home in Essex and do the, the, the local race week there, Mersey Week, and then a bit of time in Cowes straight after the Games as well. Um, is there anything you'd say to the Paralympic sailors going into the second half of their regatta? Um, they know what they're doing. They know they just need to keep it cool. It's a long way yet. Um, obviously, Helena's in a great position. All three of them are in great positions, um, but they need to just keep plugging away. And, you know, this is the business end, but they know what they're doing. They're all over it. Thanks very much, Sass. Okay. Remember to keep commenting on Facebook. Keep those good luck messages rolling in. Follow us on Twitter, but most of all, stay tuned. 
I'll be bringing all the latest news from today's racing at the same time tomorrow. I'm Sophie Ainsworth. Thanks for stopping by.